everyone and welcome to Fistful of Feminism. My name is Monica and today we're celebrating Women's History Month. I'm gonna go on a little bit of a Feminist 101 rant. So I'm on my period right now and it really sucks. I hate it. It's painful. It costs a lot of money to manage. It's just there's nothing great about it. But what bugs me and a lot of other people is when periods are associated with womanhood. There's the 101 part. Not all women get periods or have uteruses or have ovaries. Some women don't have periods. Some men have periods. Some people who have no gender at all have periods. Some non-binary folk, trans folk, many different other kinds of identities, some of them have periods. But no, not every woman has a period. We all should understand that gender, sex, not the same things. They're two completely different social constructions. So what gets me really, really angry is when I, a person who does have a period, goes to the store to buy some hygiene products. All, of course, all it says is women's hygiene or feminine hygiene and everything is gendered so you can buy like pink tampons and pink pads. Like somehow these materials are just inherent to womanhood. And for those of you who are new to feminism, it's okay if you don't know right away that gender and sex are different things. It's okay if you're working through the narrative that you've been taught all of your life that all women have periods or uteruses, vaginas, etc. But that's just simply not the truth. There is way more diversity out there, not to mention that there are more than two genders, more than two sexes. Just I just get so angry because Labeling something as a woman's item is just... what? Why? I think all of this was really sparked by the fact that I was followed by a radical feminist group on Twitter who proudly state that only women are allowed in their feminism. You may be aware and familiar with the term trans-exclusionary radical feminist and these are the people that I'm talking about. It just makes me so frustrated because intersectional feminism has no room for exclusionary anything. If you are excluding trans, non-binary, agender people in your discourses, that's not good enough. I'm really frustrated because I know that inclusivity is not a reality for so many different people and the fact that I get my period is, you know, whatever. I can talk about my experience and all of that, but it's not inherent to being a woman. And in the same token, we shouldn't be afraid to talk about periods as well because Periods are an experience that lots of different people have. I just think that we need to remember that it's not just women who have periods. So, my name is Monica, I have a period, but that does not make me any more of a woman than anyone else. I guess that was my little mini rant of today because I don't really know what to film except for how I'm feeling right now and how I'm feeling is really angry with my uterus, but angrier at how society views uteruses through a very narrow lens. I'm hoping that I'm destigmatizing A, talking about periods, and B, breaking down that barrier of having period and woman be synonymous because they're not. <sighs> so let me know what you think about periods. Do you have a period? Do not have a period? What are your experiences with periods being gendered? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I'm gonna go film a different rant now because this one is over. If you like, you can subscribe and go there and da da da. And I'll see you not next Friday, but the Friday after that. And if I don't see you for a while and I don't post, it's because I'm having my wisdom teeth taken out in two days. So I'm gonna be down for the count for a while. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay, bye.